It's been a while since we did an Isaac game. We're gonna check out some challenges today. We're gonna start out with highbrow. Now the this is one of the best challenges, at least rewards wise, because it gives you Jera, which duplicates all consumables in the room. Very good. Um, and it's not too hard of a challenge, really. I think it's pretty chill. You get a lot of attack speed here. We actually get a couple, couple little uh, coins here. And the, the interesting part with challenges, oh, that was bad. If you, if you do challenges, keep in mind there are no treasure rooms, okay? Otherwise, it's pretty similar to a normal run, obviously with the challenge part of it. But yeah, no, no treasure rooms, so you don't get any free items each round. So you, you gotta work for everything. But that being said, I don't think it'll be too bad. Hopefully we can speed run through a few challenges here. Get some really good unlocks to help us out in our, our journey here. Challenges are where you get some of the best unlocks. So some of them we want to do pretty early on just so we can have access to all of them. This one being a, one of the challenges. So just same as normal right now, clearing stuff out. Um, the name of the challenge is Highbrow. It's the second challenge of the, the group. So I think you, you start out with it unlocked, I, I believe, or maybe you unlock it really early on. Either way, you should have it unlocked, I would think, by now if you're playing along. Uh, we got plenty of bombs, let's try blowing up you. A couple extra coins, sure. Um, yeah, we don't have enough money for, for a battery. I think we just save up our money here. Now let's keep in mind the, the trinket we have here, the petrified poop or whatever it is. Um, that's gonna give us extra items and um, consumables like bombs and stuff, whenever we break open little, little pooplets. So that's gonna be, you know, for those first few floors where we're gonna see a lot of them, that's gonna be the target. If you hear scratching in the background, that is my dog. <laughs> She's just sitting there playing with her tail. She's a little puppy. All right, love to see it. Let's actually do this. Turn some flies into these little pooplet guys. See if we get any extra consumables. Kind of, but not really. Let's do this, and honestly, let's try to get some angel rooms. We haven't done angel rooms yet in this this playthrough. I feel like now's the time to do it. We start out with a pretty solid build, so I'm not too worried about having the the damage to get through it. Oh, I say that as I get hit. <laughs> So our damage isn't the highest, but our attack speed is, so our DPS all together is still pretty good. And she is just going, doing work back there. <laughs> she has officially caught the tail. Come on. Beautiful. Familiar's Orbit Isaac. Probably don't care about that one, I wouldn't think. It should be chill. Just get little side angle so we can blow up the TNT. Ooh, this is actually very good. Especially when we have this soul heart here. So we can afford to be a little more greedy. Let's see. Um, IV bag. Let's hold off on it for a second. We got a good room for to use our active. We can do that and then come back for it maybe. This is actually a decent room. Get six little booplets. And we're getting, for some reason, I don't know <laughs> which of these items is giving us extra health every time we break a poop, but that's just all the more reason to greed for this guy, right? I think that should be plenty of gold for most intents and purposes here. Beautiful. Oh, well, this would also be a good room to use the active item. I just dodge through here, looking good. So we'll clear out the rest of this area. If we happen to get a whole bunch of hearts back, we can swing back again and get 
Let's just do this. There's a lot of guys. I know we can't get any of this stuff, but we can at least get our hearts back up. We won't be able to get the item consumables from the little pooplets, but maybe that's okay. Maybe we don't need it. Okay, so we did find the boss room. That's good. That is an important step in the challenge here. I don't remember how long these challenges are. For all I know, they could be very short. And just clear out these homies. Check this out. Power pill. Huge. Um, okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Since we're we're doing pretty well, I feel good about this run. Check out here. Ooh, even better. Oh, <laughs> it was better. But, ooh, okay, that's good. We'll take it. Might as well drop a bomb here as well. Maybe we get something good. Another soul heart. So let's use up the rest of this. Just get a whole bunch of money. Again, because we're doing pretty well. I feel confident in my playing so far. <laughs> and we have a couple extra, actually three soul hearts that we can work with. So, is it greedy? Yeah, but <laughs> I think we're in a good spot. All right, and we're against Gertie, super chill. Not gonna be too difficult here. Famous last words, of course. <laughs> Let's go here, get rid of all the little side guys. Throw in a little bomb, you know how it is. I'm gonna have him shoot at me over here and then I'll go throw a bomb center. Get these guys cleared out. Ah, oh, shoot. I got got distracted by the guy there. That's fine. Taking one hit obviously isn't good, but could be worse. And with this, we should have him pretty well cleared out. And there's the angel room. This is what we're looking for. Okay, first angel room of the play. <laughs> oh, baby. This is the greatest. All right, so Crown of Light might be my favorite item ever in Bonnie of Isaac. You get soul hearts, which is like just fine, but if you have no damaged heart containers, obviously we do, but we'll just use the active item and it'll well back up. You get an insane damage multiplier and you get homing. No, this one's not homing, but you get an insane damage multiplier, which does go away if you get hurt in the room. So you, know, you gotta play well, but it's one of the best items. Very good early game, because when you're starting out, the the angel room pool item pool is very small. So you're actually much more likely to get it than once you start unlocking stuff, interestingly enough. Okay, let's go here. We could grab an eraser, but honestly, I think I'm good. And let's just make a quick detour. We have a whole heart down here. So let's just get our our item active. As you can see, the crown is now glowing. Which means, God, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew it. But yeah, so now we're gonna be doing a lot of damage. We already have the tears up. This is a good start. I mean, it's basically over. The rest is a formality. Just get these guys finished out. Look at this damage. The only downside to our build right now is that we have to, we have really low range, relatively speaking. We gotta be a little cautious with that. Honestly, I'll take it. Could be much worse. Let's see what this has for us. Oh baby. So this gives us higher chance of angel devil rooms this gives us more damage we'll grab this grab that we picked up both so we get the bookworm transformation a little bit further but yeah i mean this is just free soul heart every six charges that's fantastic and then we'll just clear up these homies now it is all right Looking good.
Okay. Now we could get a little greedy with the sacrifice room here. If we find enough hearts, maybe I will. But I don't want to accidentally get rid of all... Of, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of all of our soul hearts and then just kind of like nuke our chances at a deal. Oh, see? There you go. Um, so, you know, maybe we'll do it when we have a full book. Looking good, looking good. Man, that dog is hyper today. I don't know what's going on. You'd think she hasn't been out at all. <laughs> but she has. She most certainly has. I'm not a huge fan of getting greed here. Did get a two of diamonds though, so... That's got potential. I think odds are we're just going to have more money than we know what to do with, but there's a chance. <laughs> we're just saying there's a chance. Yeah, let's ignore the other, the sacrifice room for now. It's more risk than it's worth, I think. Just got to make sure we don't step on this green goo. While also dodging the big cannonball shots. Ball bandage is huge. Um, alright, I guess we could have used that a little earlier, but not gonna wander around anymore in this room. We have amnesia, so I can't see anything anyways. We got enough hearts. Let's check out what's in here. <laughs> More hearts. Net neutral on this room, we'll take it. Um, key. Thank you, thank you. These guys are always a little tricky, because they leave a whole bunch of garbage all over the floor. They don't seem very da dangerous, but you can slip up if you aren't if you're caught lacking out here. Thank you. This is when it would be nice to have that the handle toilet handle item, whatever that's called. Just to clear these rooms a little quicker. There we go. These guys, I don't know, these enemies are tricky, but they're not hard, if that makes any sense. Oh, that's huge. Increased fire rate with this build is just incredible. So here, they're all clumped up. Well, they were. I was going to say that's the time to kill them, but now it's, uh, now they aren't really clumped anymore. Apple of Sodom. Not sure what that means, but I think we'd rather keep our extra attack speed. Anyone know what the apple of Sodom is? Dude, another greedy guy? That's unfortunate. Oh, our ball of bandages just saved us right there. Let's start using some bombs. My damage has dropped off significantly after getting hit that first time. So let's just... Let's get out of here before we lose too many hearts. Now we're back up. That's the beauty of having this... Ooh, keys, thank you. The beauty of having this... Um, this item here. When you have the Book of Revelations, you're almost always going to have soul hearts. And if you get a soul heart damage with the crown, it deactivates it for the room because you took damage, but you still have full soul hearts. So it'll reactivate on the following room. So you definitely like soul hearts on this build, without a doubt. Drop a couple bombs here, see if we find the super secret room. We did not. Let's just keep going. Ooh, hello. We want to try to see if we can get this guy to charge into the fire, because he'll take extra damage there. Oh well. <laughs> Alright. That worked out so much better than I ever could have imagined. Oh my lord, dude. Okay. Well, Holy Mantle is just incredible. Negates the first hit taken once per room. So now we can get hit and not deactivate our crown. This is like as good as it gets, really. We could run back and clear the rest of the room, but honestly, who even cares? 
We don't need to. So at this point, if we can get some more damage, that'd be huge. Because the crown is a damage multiplier. So just straight damage is great in this instance. Everything we get is multiplied. Okay. At this point, I think we just try to speed run. Go through it as quick as possible. Maybe we can hit a couple different challenges today. Unlock some really awesome items and unlockables and all that. Okay, we did not get... I was worried we were going to get another greed, homie. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Fighters. No, thank you. Okay, so we don't want jar of flies. We don't want any of those. Let's keep cooking. And we went the wrong way. <laughs> of course. Remember when I said we were going to speed run? Yeah, about that. The speed run is uh, taking a little longer than expected. These challenges are always fun, though. I always like doing the challenges. Um, actually, since we have the Holy Mantle, we can go in here for free. <laughs> and just get a whole bunch of soul hearts, I guess. That's insane. I don't know if these are, like, seeded in any way. These challenges. Kind of feels like they are, but... Um, we actually don't want to use that guy. Let's just use a whole bunch of money here. We're going to use all of our money, and then we're going to use two of diamonds when we get to 50. Just kidding. <laughs> that lasted zero seconds. I wonder, can we do this? And will it refresh our hearts? It will. Interesting. I really wish this guy went a little quicker. It's just like not worth the time to sit here and keep spamming it, you know? It would be nice if it did. I would definitely use it more. Okay, so these guys are a little tough to dodge. Just because it's like hard, at least for me, to keep track of like the 3D projectile. You know, their little shots go up in the air. The spatial whatever can be a little dicey. Alright, drop a couple bombs here, see if we get anything good. By couple, of course, I mean... Ooh, that's actually good. Um, by couple, of course, I mean three. Okay, run it like this. I think we save Emperor for next floor. Okay, right, because we're like mostly done with this one. Man... I don't know how, why it's taken us so long to find this this boss room. It's gonna be like right next to us right here. Okay, maybe one more. Maybe maybe one one more. I mean real talk, if we find a good item, we could definitely get rid of the Book of Revelations now. Cause we're just like, we're not gonna take damage. That's not even being cocky, it's like we're we're just not. Anything good? No. Not even a little bit. Because even if I do something dumb and I get hit, I don't actually take damage. It's kind of great. Okay. So I got to make sure I don't do anything dumb twice and actually lose my crown because then this is going to take a while. But if we can beat this in under 20 minutes, we're, we're in a pretty good spot. Okay. Good, good bomb. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, this is the end. Um, I guess we didn't need the Emperor after all. We could go through that boss room, but why would we? <laughs> it's already over. Fantastic. Alright, give me a second. I'm gonna see what our next, our next challenge run should be. Alright. Next challenge we're going to be doing today, probably limit it to two per video, but I think Curse is going to be a good one. So, basic premise here, 
if we beat cursed we get credit card which is just fantastic so definitely want to try this one early basic idea is every room as you can see every doorway to every room damages you so we're playing as the tank that's just not good <laughs> Um, so basically just a non-item here for the first one. Not a great start. But if we can get enough work in, in our favor, should be pretty chill, I think. Now this is probably not something that we want to have on our side. Sounds like we're just going to take a lot of damage if we do. So yeah, right now we're looking at the stats. We've got obviously a lot of hearts aside from that pretty normal stats we're a little low on speed so you know i don't think we're in a you know we're not super strong right now but we can work with it definitely potential here maybe we could even get some damage synergies there's some items that work well when you get damaged that would be pretty awesome but i mean for now we're just gonna run it through like normal deal with these bosses as if it were a floor one boss because it kind of is aside from oh well that's unfortunate i guess the beans actually did kind of come in handy <laughs> it did a little extra damage for us but yeah so it's gonna be a little tricky i think trying to ooh hold that thought booster pack we get keys we get red hearts more red heart death and judgment so let's start with judgment see what we get sure i think we can definitely make use of this one primarily because we have the two of hearts okay speedball is fine so yeah we're gonna double here go back to full i think we go strength obviously we're gonna try the pill tears up is huge okay and then we'll use this just to get some keys for next floor. And then, yeah, so I think we hold strength for the next next boss, maybe, depending on how difficult it is. All right, so let's take a second here. Take a quick little look over at the right side on the map. So if we go to the left, we need two keys to get into that treasure room. So I think we hold off on that and we just go for the guaranteed... You know, we can get into this treasure room down here for one key, and we can also guarantee get into the shop if we somehow find some gold. So let's start there. I think that'll get us a good bit of the way. Honestly, dude, I love pills. Not, I don't like that. Come on. <laughs> I think pills will be pretty solid for us here. And yeah, we're definitely going to have to make very efficient use of this, this active item. Because obviously we're taking a lot of damage. Okay, nothing there. Um, I'm actually not going to go in here yet. We do have hearts laying down there. So if we do end up getting coins, it's not going to cost quite as many hearts to go back. Got a little reserve just in case, you know. But for now, let's just keep cooking. I wish I could. I do. I guess we could go in here. See what's in this super secret room. Picking up coins spawns blue flies. Honestly, I think we're just doing the heart, to be honest. As nice as a couple blue flies every now and then would be. Without good synergies, that item's kind of just... Or the trinket is kind of just there. Not a whole lot for us. Okay, looking good. This guy, yeah, let's use it. Uh, we haven't taken damage yet, so I want to make sure I can beat this boss without getting hurt. If we do, we get to have a devil room open, which I'm not going to take because we need as much hearts as we can, as many hearts as we can. Grammar is good. <laughs> use it. Um, but if we ignore the devil room here, it's going to open us up to the possibility next turn of getting an angel room so i say we do it full send all right so starting out here 
Okay, well that was unfortunate. Not that it matters too much, but not ideal. Okay, something good, please. It's damage, not terrible, not great. So I only have five gold, so I'm kind of worried about getting access to this shop over here. Also because <laughs> we don't have any keys for it either. Okay. I mean, I think we're just kind of running to the end and oh, there goes our angel chance. <laughs> I'm thinking until we get some items to support us, the angel room is probably not going to happen. You never know what rune shard does. It doesn't seem to actually tell you. Um, okay. So yeah, until we get some, some good items to support our build, I think we're gonna kinda just assume we won't get Angel Room the first couple of floors. But the items are honestly so good, I think it's still worth. Like, I'm not... I'm not di saying that I, I think we shouldn't have skipped Devil Room, I guess is what I'm getting at. Trying to line up this little orbital, but I don't even know if it's worth it. We're just taking more damage. Ooh, well that time the orbital did a lot of work for us. Get a little extra healing going here. Sure, sure. Ooh, we actually got our heart back. Alright. So this is where the orbital really comes in handy. Oh. Now we're definitely not getting the angel room. So let's just walk around him in a circle. Alright, so this is going to give shot speed down, tears up. Honestly, we'll take the trade off. And we're back almost full hearts. Okay, now let's kick it into high gear. Try as best we can to not take damage in these rooms. Because I would really like to get a danger room. Come on. It's always so much more satisfying in these rooms when you can just kill them all in one go. That did not quite happen for us. Um, let's see what we get here. We're almost at the conjoined baby. Um, the conjoined power up. So I guess that's something, but aside from that, <laughs> not looking fantastic. Still a little low on the damage department. Okay. We still got the 67% devil or angel chance. Full health, I would have rather kept that if I knew. Okay, I'm very glad that guy didn't blow up next to me. Okay. You guys are always a little dicey. Alright. Keep cooking you guys. Now he should be good. Still haven't taken damage yet. Fingers crossed. I think I'd rather keep the hearts. We don't have any sustain on our own, so hearts are going to be our primary sustain. Okay, the slow is going to help us protect against this guy a lot. Oh, a little dicey. Okay. This is very close. I do not like fighting this guy. He can just zoot at you super fast out of nowhere. Please, angel room. Thank you. Okay. Oh, boy. Um, I mean, maybe there's some way we can transform this, so let's go Angel Room first. Not the one I was hoping for, I'll be honest. We get extra tears, extra soul hearts, but then we get the Bible added to all item pools, which just isn't great. I guess if the challenge ends on Mom, then it's not bad, because you can one-shot Mom. But well, that's really the only application that I care about. Alright, this is a very long floor. We're gonna have to be a little, a little cautious. 
A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Ooh, almost bad. All right, let's keep going. Empress here. Empress doing work for us in the bosses. I like when they get frozen, they shoot all the shards everywhere. Little icicles. Man, we're just not having much luck here, are we? So this honestly isn't bad. It's just I don't think it's worth it, you know? I, I don't think we can afford to ditch our sustain just yet. Just for a little extra damage. It's not going to cut it. Though we are getting a lot of soul hearts. I mean, there's... There's an argument to be made, I suppose. Clear you out real quick. Holy moly, these guys are cooking. These guys are flying at us. I wish the little ice cube baby froze them, or like slowed them for a little longer. Kind of a pain, they slow for like two, two nanoseconds. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? Alright, what do we got in here? Greed. That's just not what I'm hoping for. Oh man, that's... That was, oh! <laughs> that was terrible. That was actually terrible. Alright, full health is huge. Honestly, probably better than Empress at this point. Man, dude, our damage is not looking great. Fortunately, we, these guys are super telegraphed, so we don't really have to worry too much about getting hit. But yeah, this is a little dicey. Little dicey. here and finally <laughs> stay away stay away oh god I hate this how the heck are we not getting hit there oh my lord that was ridiculous absolutely ridiculous okay let's just cook it push through get it done Yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, I thought he blew up all of his homies. He had one in the back. This guy's got shooters everywhere. Well, there's the Bible. Alright, you know what? Let's try it. Okay, don't really want to risk it, especially since we got rid of our regen. I don't think we should pay too much of our health on this thing. But I will run on over here, get the treasure room and the the, the shop, see if we get anything good. Hey, that was very rude. I did not appreciate the charge. Uh, that one's pretty good. Leave a little creep from your tears. No. Oh, yeah, I guess we don't have any keys, do we? Could be a slight issue. Um, we still don't have keys, so I don't know why I just used Bible. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, alright, alright. Focus up. This is getting embarrassing. Luck down. The only reason I'm not too worried is we have this full health pill on us. Otherwise, we'd be a little dicey right now. Okay, we'll take a soul heart. Definitely better than nothing. 
even if just marginally. All right, wait for the spikes to go down. Grab the heart. Keep cooking. Ooh, get iced, homie. Beautiful. Let's ice this guy. <laughs> oh, baby. We did finally get a key. Not really going to be worth it, but not worth it to go back, I should specify. The key is definitely worth picking up, because why wouldn't it be? Alright, just let the fly do the work here, honestly. <laughs> just run along next to him. Like the cameraman in an action movie. Okay, this room has no enemies. That's good to see. Um, oh, these guys. I don't know what these guys are supposed to be. They just like throw up flies or like little corn flies. Kind of weird. Kind of weird vibe. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I love it. I also has an infinite amount of health, apparently. Okay, hey, this might just be mom. It is. Then we can just kill her immediately with the Bible. <laughs> hey, we take those. Um, just for fun, let's see what's in the devil room. Flight. Permanent flight and spectral tears, and we get conjoined. Dude, I kind of wish it didn't end right here. <laughs> Look at this guy. You know what? Okay, this is the end. <laughs> if you're done watching, great. It's kind of a fun build, though. <laughs> Maybe we try this. Just kidding, all these items suck. Alright. <laughs> this is the boss rush, for those of you wondering. Um, it They usually have decent items to choose from. You get to pick one of these four items. And then you have to fight 15 boss waves. But yeah, dude, it's just... None of those are good enough to, to warrant spending that much money. But here we got the credit card. And the credit card, what it does is you is a consumable, similar to a, a tarot card or something. Uh, and if you walk into a shop or a devil room, you get you use the the consumable and you get everything for free. So it's kind of cool. It's a fun item. So I'm very glad we got it early. But for now, that'll do it for today. Hope you enjoyed. Getting a little bit of the the challenges done, unlocking some good consumables today. It should help us in the long run and gets us a little bit closer to the dead god achievement. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.